all the GPSTR, CTET and uh, TET aspirants welcome to this video to watch the question paper of 2014 and the subject is child development and pedagogy in last video we already discuss the question paper of the year 2015 for your next exam purpose this is very important from beginning to till end watch this video clearly and understand and uh, mention your comments in the comment box and uh, like this video share it to your friends and uh, subscribe my channel so the first question is cognitive development is supported by here four options first one is conducting relevant and well designed test as frequently as possible answer b presenting activities that reinforce traditional methods c providing a rich and varied in environment then answer d focusing more on individual activities in a comparison to collaboration here the right answer is c the second question is human development is quantitative b qualitative c unmeasurable to a certain extent d both quantitative and qualitative here the right right answer is d both quantitative and qualitative next question number third the nature the nature nurture debate refers to options first a genetics and environment b behavior and environment c environment and biology d environment and upbringing the right answer is a genetics and environment next question number 4 which of the followings a passive agency of socialization here options a first health club b family c eco club d public library here the right answer is d public library question number five in Vygotsky's theory, which aspect of development gets neglected? Options first A social, B cultural, C biological, D linguistic. So here the right answer is C biological. Next question number six. Which of the following stages are involved when infants think with their eyes ears and hands options here a first concrete operational stage b pre-operational stage c sensory motor stage and d formal operational stage here the right answer is c sensory motor stage Next question number seven. Rhea does not agree with <coughs> Rishabh about setting up a class picnic. She thinks that the rules can be revised to suit the majority. This kind of peer disagreement according to Piaget refers to options are first A. Heteronomous morality b cognitive immaturity 
C. Reaction. D. Morality. Here the right answer is D. Morality of cooperation. Next uh, question number 8. Which one of the following is a form of uh, Stenberg's Triarchy Theory of uh, Intelligence? Options are there. Here A. Practical Intelligence B. Experimental Intelligence C. Resourceful Intelligence D. Mathematical Intelligence Here the right answer is uh, A. Practical Intelligence Next question number 9. Who developed the first intelligence intelligence test? Option A. David Wessler B. Alfred Binet C. Charles Edward Spearman D. Robert Sternberg Here the right answer is B. Albert Binet Alfred Binet Then question number 10 Phonological awareness refers to the ability to Option A Reflect and manipulate the sound structure B. Speak fluently and accurately C. Know, understand and write D. Master the rules of grammar Here the right answer is A. Reflect and manipulate the sound structure Next, question number 11. Gender discrimination in a classroom. Options. A. First, does not affect the performance of the students. B. May lead to diminished effort or performance of the students. C. May lead to diminished effort or performance of the male students. D is done more by the male teachers than their female counterparts here the right answer is b may lead to diminished effort or performance of the students next question number 12 which of the following following is an example of learning style Option A, visual, B, accurate, then accrual, C, factual, D, tactual. Here the right answer is A, visual. Question number 13. A teacher collects and reads the work of the class, then plans and adjusts the next lesson to meet student needs. He or she is doing option A assessment of learning, B assessment as learning, C assessment for learning, D assessment at learning. Here the right answer is C assessment for learning. Next question number 14. Teachers who work under school-based assessment. Option A. Are overburdened as they need to take frequent tests in addition to Monday test. B. Need to assign projects work in each subject to individual students. C. Observe students minutely on a daily basis of daily basis to assess their values and attitudes d feel a sense of over ownership for the system here the right answer is d feel a sense of ownership for the system next question number 15 
how do grades differ from marks this question belongs to which of the following classes of question option a divergent b analytic c open ended d problem solving here the right answer is b analytic question number 16 girl students option a learn questions on mathematics well but face difficulty only when they are asked to reason them out b are as good in mathematics as boys of their age c perform less competently in special concepts then boys of their age d possesses more linguistic and musical abilities here the right answer is b are as good in mathematics as boys of their age next question number 17 difficulty in recalling sequence of letters in words and frequent loss of visual memory is associated with here options first a dyslexia b dyscalculia c dysgraphia d dyspraxia this is the here these are the diseases and related to the question the which is the right answer answer is a dyslexia next question number 18 education of all in schools for all could be a tagline for which of the following option a cohesive education b inclusive education c cooperative education d exclusive education so here the right answer is b inclusive education next question number 19 fluency elaboration originality and flexibility are the factors associated with answer a giftedness b talent c divergent thinking d acceleration here the right answer is a giftedness question number 20 gifted students may be asked to spend more time on questions dealing with here the options are there option a remembering b understanding c creating d analyzing here the right answer is c creating next question number 21 learning disabilities in mathematics can be assessed most appropriately by which of the following test option a aptitude test b diagnostic test c screening test d achievement test the right answer is here b diagnostic test question number 22 concept maps are most likely to increase understanding of new concept by option a transferring knowledge between content areas b focusing attention on specific details c prioritizing academic content for study d increasing ability to organize information logically here the right answer is d increasing ability to organize information logically next question number 23 according to the theory of social learning of 
Albert Bandura. Which of the following is true? Option A. Play is essential and should be given priority in school. B. Modeling is a principal way for children to learn. C. An unresolved crisis care harm a child. D. Cognitive development is in, uh, independent of social development. Here the right answer is uh, C. An unresolved crisis can harm a child. Question number 24. Deductive reasoning involves Option A. Reasoning for Reasoning from general to particular, B. Reasoning from particular to general, C. Active construction and reconstruction of knowledge, D. Methods including inquiry, learning, and heuristic. Here, the right answer is A. <coughs> reasoning from general to particular. Question number 25. When children learn a concept and use it, practice helps in reducing the errors committed by them. This idea was given by here the option A. E. L. Thorndike B. Jean Piaget C. J. B. Watson D. Leo Vygotsky Here the right answer is A. E. L. Thorndike. Question number 26. Which of the following skill is associated with emotional challenges? Emotional intelligence. Option A. Memorizing. B. Motor processing. C. Envisaging. D. Empathizing. Here the right answer is D. Empathizing. Question number 27. The inner force that stimulates and compels a behavioral response and provides specific direction to that, that uh, response is Option A. Motive B. Perseverance C. Emotion D. Commitment Here the right answer is A. Motive Question number 28. Which term is often used interchangeably <coughs> with the term motivation? Options A. Incentive B. Emotion C. Need D. Inspiration Here the right answer is need. Question number 29. Dash motives deal with the need to reach satisfying feeling states and to obtain personal goals. Option A. Effective. B. Affective. C. Preservation oriented. D. Safety oriented. Here the right answer is B. Affective. Next, last question and question number 30. Which one of the following is a factor that affects learning positively? Option A. Fear of failure. B. Competition with peers. C. Meaningful association. D. Pressure from parents. Here the right answer is C. Meaningful association. My dear, all TET seated GPS chair aspirants, I hope all of you understood and get benefit from this video for your next uh, any one examination. 
and subscribe our channel like and share our video and thank you for watching Oh, oh, oh.